Today we are rebuilding the ER5 that's going in the Lupo. You'll notice how I have all this stuff nice and neat in the same order that it's gonna go. These are all the rockers that go in the cylinder head. I wrote timing chain on the back side of it so that I know this is the timing chain side. The mains are laid out in the same order. The cams are laid out in the same order. Down there is just a bunch of stuff that doesn't really matter. This is the one I wanna share with you guys today though. So this is a board that I made for doing the piston rings. We only have five, so we got some extras. And hopefully I'm smart enough to not throw it away like I did with the last one. This allows me to organize my piston rings. I can clean them, then I can lose lubricate them and then I'll hang them in the order that I'm going to install them in. So oil control ring would go first, middle compression ring second, top compression ring third. What I also do is I leave everything that came in a bag in the bag. In case I can't figure out where the heck these two bolts go, I can just look up the part number, same thing, same thing. And if I get confused or forget or whatever, we have a way to figure it out. And what I'll tell you is that is a vital part of working on cars. I don't need to know exactly where everything goes. What I need to know is how to figure out where it goes. So even if something's apart for a long, 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 long time, if you follow those tips, you have a lot higher success rate of getting it put together. Because if you get something wrong, a lot of times you don't find out you got it wrong till it's a real bad problem.